Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to trust a self-signed certificate. So I'm on the server right now and I've created a IES web application called Sample MVC5 and I've created HTTPS and SSL on it. So if I go to my client or if I go navigate to it, you'll notice on my right here is Google Chrome and on Google Chrome I have this X that says basically that the site the identity is not verified and this CA root certificate is not trusted so that's what you see on Google Chrome and this is what you see in IIS so if I go to IIS untrusted certificate so how do I get rid of those Be because sometimes during testing you you actually do need the warnings uh, to not be there uh, either because you have automated testing or uh, whatever configuration you have says that the certificate has to be trusted so uh, what do you do uh, to get rid of that so I'm gonna go click on the certificate in Google Chrome I'm gonna click the information click details and I'm actually gonna copy the file so I'm gonna copy the certificate and I'm gonna uh, choose the, th the third choice which is a uh, p7b file and I am going to save that file let me save that file as a uh, temp slash junk slash soundwave is the name of my server p7b and I am gonna click finish so I have the file, the uh, certificate exported now. So I have to install it into my trusted CA authorities. So I'm going to bring up uh, whatever shell that you, whatever is your favorite shell. Uh, I, right here I have PowerShell. You could do it in a DOS or Command Shell. So I'm going to type in certmanager.msc to bring up the certificate manager. So here the certificate manager is up and you'll notice uh, what I have here on the second choice is trusted root certificate authorities so I'm going to double click on that go into certificates and, and you'll see your typical list which is uh, GoDaddy, Microsoft, VeriSign, especially and Thought which is all the well-known certificate authorities that actually issue official server certificates or SSL certificates so I want to install that here and have it as a trusted certificate so I'm gonna to go to certs and I'm gonna say all task and import and I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna to browse to my exported certificate that I have which is Soundwave P7B I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click next again and you'll notice it's gonna prompt me do I want to install I'll say yes and import successful so that's all fine and good and you'll notice um, if I refresh the uh, Internet Explorer it still thinks their certificate is unofficial so I have to exit the Internet Explorer but I, I want to show you an issue that I have with with um, Google Chrome so so you'll see now the lock is fine there's no red it's trusted I'm in HTTPS so that's all fine and good with Chrome if I hit refresh it still doesn't trust the cert and even if I bring up another browser and I go there it still doesn't trust it and you know why is that well don't be alarmed um, so if I bring up task manager it, it turns out that there's a bunch of Google Chromes that are up and running and I have to close up all of them so if I close if I end all the processes of Google Chrome be, because the status of that certificate happens to be cached so I'm gonna end all of them and you'll see all of them are ended now and I'm gonna bring back Google Chrome and you'll see now it's trusted so if you run into that issue that's how you resolve it and um, there you go that's how you trust the certs I, I do want to demonstrate this again by deleting my certificate so my certificate was Soundwave here I'm in the certificate manager once again in the trusted authorities 
and I'm going to delete that certificate and remember that Google Chrome is cached so I'm just going to demonstrate it on IIS for uh, expedience sake so I'm going to go here and you'll notice once again after I delete that certificate from the trusted authorities I get this message so um, there you go that's how you do it that's how you trust a certificate and uh, thank you for watching